Hi everybody, so it just occurred to me after this video I made about cancel culture that in this week's Torah reading it talks about the punishment that someone gets if they speak Lashon Hara, if they speak gossip about someone, about another person, if they slander another person. And that is that they're removed, they get these like, these these sort of like uh, rashes or it's called sarat, it's like leprosy that they can get. It can appear on, on them and it can appear on like, their housing. Um, and it's basically, and they have to remove themselves from the community a bit. And it's actually, actually in, in a sense, a, a way of shaming them. And this seems a bit like a big challenge to what I just said, which was that Judaism doesn't believe in shaming. We're not a shame culture, we, which is what's wrong with cancel culture. We believe in guilt, in other words, separating the action from the actor, and that people can change, and that we shouldn't shame people and say they're beyond the pale. That seems to me what Judaism is all about. But this seems to be a direct contradiction this, in this week's Parsha. And I realise that, actually, this is the one exception where the Torah does say people are going to get a... a form of shaming, pu uh, public shaming. Why? Because it's measure for measure. It doesn't believe in public shaming, but the point is when people gossip, that's exactly what they're trying to do. They're doing something which is very much against the Torah. By the way, this isn't to say you, if you have an issue with with someone that and you want, need to be constructive, that you can't speak to a friend, a mentor, parent, um, but the idea of gossiping just to talk badly about someone uh, in a way that's just sort of, you know, sensational or, or for your, to make your, to better your own ego, um, and that's not sensitive to the fact that, you know, they may have hurt you, but they may have their own problems and it just can get, get out of balance. Um, that's shaming someone. That's trying to distort who a person is. It's distorting their character by, by going too far. And so, the Torah says, don't do that. <laughs> don't, tr please stop treating pe people in such an unnuanced way. Because when you do that, that leads to shaming people, it leads to silencing people, and therefore you're going you're gonna to get a sense of what that feels like temporarily. Then, of course, the people, that, you know, the Torah, the, 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 the leprosy, it goes, it goes away. Um, but I just think that that was a small little point I wanted to add because I think it's actually totally fitting with everything that we're saying about cancel culture. The Torah is saying, we don't like it. Don't shame people. Talk things out with people. Don't hate people in your heart. You don't have to be close to every single person if you don't quite get on with them. But be balanced. Recognise that people have their own challenges and difficulties. And then when the way they behave to you, it might hurt you, but it's, it's, the way people behave are complex. And usually it's more to do with their own issues than it is to do uh, with you. So just a short idea I want to share with you guys and yeah, have a good week.